Hey y'all, welcome to a new, actually first video of this channel. Uh, thank you for coming along to this very long series of me creating and adding things to my art portfolio. Now, just a heads up, this is a semi-tutorial, per se. I will be adding things I'll think will be neat for you guys to probably learn and pretty much follow along if you like. If you guys have anything in the comment section that you guys want to know how I did something, feel free to ask. Now, I have these two videos that I've watched to help me use Blender in a way that I want to use it in this series. So if you guys want to watch something in a more condensed version of what I'm doing, those videos are still easy to follow if you know 3D modeling to a certain extent, but still good watch. I, however, will be following a method that I've learned in college that will make things that have more efficient and more consistent art style to whatever it is you're working on. Now my main goal is I have a multi-part series on the process that I'll be working on for this project. Here it is somewhere on the screen. Now what I'm doing is a lot and who knows when I'll be finishing this project fully but I gotta I gotta, I gotta try my best to somehow get out of this art block. So with all that being said let's continue on and begin this very long journey. Let's explain on what exactly mood boarding is. So mood boarding can be a lot of things. Pretty much how I use it is I get a bunch of references and I put it into one page, one layer, pretty much. And this can be used for a lot of things. You can have a character and you can grab multiple images on what you want that character to have and you can just put it into one space instead of clicking through a bunch of images on Google. It really helps on finding out on what you really want and you can take out things obviously but it really helps when you have a when you're looking for a setting or you're looking for an environment or what you want a environment to have mixed with another environment. So it really helps pretty much condense a bunch of things or expand a bunch of things. Mood boarding can be used for, again, all sorts of things. I'll be showing you how I'm using mood boarding uh, right here. I've seen a big trend on the PS1, PS2, and N64 art style, not art style, but that kind of aesthetic. I want to go with something more like a GameCube era, just that goofy, wacky Nintendo character art style. Now a game that I think about when I think of wacky characters would be something like Now I want to get that nice Nintendo goofiness, so I think about this game at times whenever I think about goofiness. Now. Not all the enemies were the, well, they weren't the most pleasant to look at, but I like these guys, these dino dudes, what are they called, Maggins, we have these pterodactyl guys, uh, we have a freaking triceratops with a club that's legit called a clubosaur, and that, that, I mean, come on, that's, that's something. Adding a little bit of uh, Mario Sunshine, a little bit of a splash of Legend of Zelda, which would actually be a really key factor on what this next part is going to be. The setting. Now, I've already established that I want this Mario cartoony art style. I want the setting to take place in a medieval fantasy setting. That, all you know, is inspired then, well, no other than... Now, I want this setting, this environment, to be set in a flea market-esque area. Just chaos happening all around. Chickens running wild, rogue stealing, fights happening, potion sellers just doing the thing. Merchants, uh, kids of various D&D races just running around, having fun. 
just an overall mess of multiple renders that I can have and set as a single image or not to just something to have a portfolio on. It's a lot. It's just a bunch of chaos. Now, with all that being said, I know what I'm working on is a lot. This is why I said this is going to be a multi-part long series, pretty much. I'm going to do the best I can to give y'all information that I know, or maybe you guys can give me information that will help me during this process. It's a win-win, I suppose. I don't know. It really depends on how the comments are. But, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. This is going to be a long process to improve upon my portfolio. I hope you guys all enjoy this. Thank you.